Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can protect a range within a Google spreadsheet. Now, I'm doing this because a reader recently asked me how she could have her students contribute to a template she had in Google Sheets without editing the parts that she didn't want them to touch. So here's how you can do this. You can see my sample spreadsheet here and in column A I have some important information and in column B I have super important information. Now I don't want my students to edit anything that's in column B. I don't want them to change any of this super important information but I'll let them change things that are in column A. So here's what I can do. Now I've selected column B row 1 and I'm going to right click on it and slide down here to protect range. I'm going to now add a sheet or range and it's sheet 1 that I'm working on and my range is going to be B1 to B15. It's important to note that you're going to use a colon between B1 and B15 or if you're going to do anything else, uh, any other range, it's column followed by row, colon, column followed by row. Now set the permissions and you can see who I've previously shared the entire spreadsheet with so I'm going to restrict who can edit this range and I'm going to take off the two people that I've already shared the whole spreadsheet with. So these two will still be able to edit the other parts of the spreadsheet. They just won't be able to edit the things between B1 and B15. So now I'm going to save that and it's done. So that's how I can change the permissions and protect that range within my Google Sheet. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.